Have you ever heard about neon tetra fish? Neon tetras are referred to as one of the famous fish in the world. However, it is quite difficult for you to keep neon tetras. Many people get in trouble when creating a suitable habitat for their neon tetras. The most ideal habitat for neon tetra fish requires abundant knowledge and care. What temperature should my neon tetra fish have as you know? Neon tetra fish originates from the springs and streams of South America. Because of its popularity, neon tetra fish has appeared and been bred in diverse countries around the world such as Thailand or China. Due to the difference between their motherland, South America, and other countries in Asia, it is essential to keep the balance of water temperature to ensure a good condition for them to be alive and grow. The reason why we should care about the water temperature is that the water temperature plays a key role for neon tetra fish living healthily. It helps maintain a healthy ecosystem and creates a better breeding process. A bad temperature can cause death and harm your fish. Hence, have you ever wondered and asked yourself a question, what temperature should my neon tetra fish have? Georgia pet sitters will solve the problem for you. From the article, you can gain more knowledge and know what is the suitable temperature for your fish to live. Let's take a look, what temperature do neon tetra need to survive? What temperature do neon tetra need to survive originating from South America? It is not strange as neon tetra fish require to live in warm water conditions. 72 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit, which means 22.224.4 degrees Celsius, is the ideal temperature for neon tetra fish to thrive. However, it is quite different for the breeding process. The temperature will be up to 75-76 degrees Fahrenheit, which means 23.924.4 degrees Celsius, for breeding successfully. Moreover, fish keepers can face trouble in suddenly changing the temperature of aquariums following the outside degrees. Hence, when the temperature unexpectedly changes, it can affect water temperature and harm your fish. Do neon tetras need a heater? If you do not have enough time to change and check the water tank, the most effective way to deal with this problem is to buy an aquarium heater. Neon tetra is known as tropical fish, so there is no reason not to let them live in heated aquariums. Do neon tetras need a heater? Furthermore, there are various types of aquarium heaters on the market, and each of them has a unique function with different wattages. They are sold in different sizes to suit your aquarium. Choosing the right one for your fish as well as your tank is necessary. Plus, remember to read the review and figure out the most suitable one when buying heaters. You need to be sure that you get to know about it well. Furthermore, you should possess the heaters between 2.5 and 5 watts per gallon. Besides, you can select between preset and adjustable heaters. According to your economy and aquarium condition, let's buy the one you feel fits. A neon tetra can't communicate with you. They hardly tell you how they feel. They feel too hot or cold, which is impossible to talk to you. Therefore, it is up to how the owner takes care of them and gives them a better life. Nevertheless, it is pretty hard for the owner to check water temperature all the time. So, the equipping an aquarium heater for your fish is essential. This is the best way to balance the temperature of the water. What will happen to neon tetras when it's too cold? What will happen to neon tetras when it's too cold? Thus, can you imagine what will happen to your neon tetras when the temperature is too cold? Obviously, it is a bad situation. If the degree is below 60 Fahrenheit, your fish will be shocked. Or for the worst scenery, your lovely fish will die or lead to a weakness for a long time. Additionally, cool temperature from 60-70 Fahrenheit, which means 15.521.1 Celsius, will impact the digestion and metabolism system of your fish. Besides, their breathing system can be influenced if your fish cannot stand the cool temperature well. If your neon tetras live in the cold weather too long, they can become sicker and sicker. Consequently, they can suffer some kinds of illnesses. For example, fin rot, a kind of disease that can cause death for your fish. Your fish's fins will change color and can fall in case of suffering for too long. Itch, a kind of paradise. 
your fish skin and gills can be damaged and destroyed. Neon Tetra Disease. This is when your fish exist in another type of paradise inside their little bodies. This disease can spread and badly impact a huge amount of neon tetra fish. Although this terrible paradise does not come from the cold water, the cool temperature is a convenient condition for them to grow. They will take advantage of the weakness of the immune system. The weak immune system is the consequence of cool water. Your neon tetra fish will become weaker and weaker because of the attack from paradise. This disease will last for a long time and paradise will be power and power following the spring of time. As a result, your fish will be killed. Those are the reasons why we should notice the temperature of the water tank and keep it right. Balancing the water temperature is absolutely significant. What will happen to neon tetras if it gets too hot? What will happen to neon tetras if it gets too hot in contrast? What will happen to neon tetra if the temperature is too hot? Neon tetras are tropical fish, which means they can live well in warm water conditions. However, if it is too hot, the consequences they have to bear are the same as too cold water. There is no exception for them. 78 Fahrenheit or 25.6 Celsius is the degree considered to warm water temperature and it will ensure that the big deal can happen when the temperature is nearly 90 degrees Fahrenheit 32 degrees Celsius. It can cause shortness of breath for your fish, oxygen levels and suffocation, your neon tetras need oxygen to live, and it will be great if the amount of oxygen is perfectly adequate. Nevertheless, warm water can make your fish too energetic when its metabolism and temperature grow following the degree of water which means they will consume more and more oxygen. Besides, it is not true if you think the warmer water is, the more oxygen will be produced. Warm water will lead to less oxygen. Those are the cause of suffocation in neon tetras fish. How does sudden temperature change affect neon tetras? How does sudden temperature change affect neon tetras? The sudden temperature change can easily influence your neon tetras health. If it is essential to change the temperature incidentally, you should memorize to let the process run slowly and gradually. Practically, the sudden change of temperature can affect the immune system of your fish. It is the result of a couple of depression as well as digestive changes. It not only dramatically increases bacteria, but the risk of itch as well. If your neon tetra is not lucky enough, they can face the dangerous disease from terrible paradises. How does sudden temperature change affect neon tetras? In addition, do not drop your fish into the new environment of temperature too quickly. Your fish can be shocked and not adapt to that environment well. This is the most destructive ever. Although it does not affect too much and make your fish be on the verge of death, the lifespan of your fish will be shortened significantly. They will be weaker and have to try to undergo depression. It will be the most terrible nightmare for them. Moreover, it affects their health and lifespan a lot. By all those things, we could understand the importance of water temperature. Thus, how to maintain and ensure that the temperature is warm enough. Let's move on to the below content of the article. How can you make sure your neon tetras tank is warm enough? How can you make sure your neon tetras tank is warm enough? One of the easiest ways. To check the warmth of your fish tank is to use a thermometer. The tool can show you even the tiniest changes in the water temperature. There are diverse kinds of thermometers. For example, stick on thermometers LCD. This is a thermometer with average quality. Even though it is not the best one for the most exact result, this thermometer is good enough for normal use. As the most inexpensive choice, it is very popular for fish keepers using it for aquariums. If you have a limited budget, this one is the most suitable for you. Floating thermometers Floating thermometers are designed to be able to immerse them into the water for a better result of water temperature. It is also quite cheap for you. However, we cannot compare the accurate percent of a floating thermometer with a digital thermometer. Digital thermometers Digital thermometers are known as the most expensive option. However, its accurate level is perfect and worth the money. It is equipped with an alert system to announce when the water temperature rises or falls.
which is one of the most incredible functions of this thermometer. According to your condition, you can buy whichever you want for your aquarium. This is a good way to ensure that your neon tetras tank is warm enough. Nevertheless, what if you do not have any heater for the emergency? What should you do to keep warm for your aquarium? Let's move on to another content of the article for the answer. How can you keep your tank warm without a heater in an emergency? How can you keep your tank warm without a heater in an emergency? Even if you choose any type of thermometer, what will you do if you check your thermometers and accidentally realize that the temperature is dropping and it will soon be too cold one day? Plus, your aquarium has no heater or your heater does not work. And you do not have any backup plan or heater. Every situation is under an emergency. Do not worry. Let's stay calm. Here are some temporary measures for you to save your aquarium at that moment. First, you can protect your aquarium by covering the filtration system. Let's wrap it in a line or a piece of clothing. In case you cannot find any linen, use your clothes. Second, covering the outside of the tank with blankets or lids can help you prevent heat loss for your aquarium. Finally, if you have a household heater, move your aquarium and put it near the heater which can help you slow down the escape of heat. There are some solutions for you to deal with emergency issues. However, those solutions are just temporary for you. It is essential that you should prepare for any situation and the backup plan or backup heater to save your aquarium. Let's try your best to keep the temperature for your neon tetris. It will help you to create exactly the same habitat as living in the wild, which comes up with the ideal environment for your fish to live and reproduce. Conclusion In conclusion, the article has just shown you the importance of temperature for your fish and what temperature your neon tetra fish should have. The temperature always plays an ultimate role in your fish's health and comfort. Hence, you had better care about the thermometer and a heater. They are like a savior of your fish. Those tools can help your aquarium have the right temperature and solve any unpredictable problem. Do not skip this article if you want to know how to protect your fish and help them thrive well. Moreover, you do not need to be shy to ask us any question you want. Please leave your question below. Georgia Pet Sitter is always willing to solve all relevant problems for you. Fact. Is 80 degrees okay for neon tetris? Is 80 degrees okay for neon tetris according to the information that we showed you above? 72 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit, which means 22.224.4 degrees Celsius, is the ideal temperature for neon tetra fish to thrive. For the breeding process, the temperature will be from 75 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit 23. 924.4 degrees Celsius. If your neon tetras live in 80 degrees water, they are fine because they are tropical fish. However, if they live for the long term, this temperature can cause bad influences on your fish. For the worst consequences, their health will be weaker and they can die. Thus, you should keep the balance temperature for your fish to ensure that their lifespan can be longer. Can neon tetras live in room temperature water? You should remember that neon tetras are tropical fish originating from South America. They tend to love the water temperature from 72 and 78 degrees Fahrenheit. It is obviously a little above room temperature. Hence, it is better to maintain the right temperature to live healthily and happily. The best way is to mimic the natural temperature like their motherland, which brings comfort for them to live and reproduce better.